Hi everyone, Darren Weatherall. I'm just out here at Golf Central. Um, just wanted to explain to you uh, a, a recent meeting that I had with a guy called Dr. Ian Renshaw. Um, I was very fortunate to catch up with him for a coffee. Uh, Ian is a highly regarded uh, expert in the field of skill acquisition. Uh, he works uh, very closely with Cricket Australia. His son is a very successful cricket uh, player now. And um, we chat. We caught up for a coffee just basically to chat about, um, you know, skill acquisition. So basically, how do we get better at skills? How do we learn? How do we, you know, what is the fastest and best way to do this? Um, so basically, during our meeting, it became very apparent in the golf industry that the way we train is like super, super different to how we actually go and compete. So when we're on the driving range and we are, you know, hitting balls, if we look at the environment, so we're hitting sometimes often not the correct surface, so you know, not grass, we're hitting to one target and we're using one club. Now, there are times uh, absolutely where, you know, if you're working on swing technique and those sorts of things, where you want to have a little bit more of a controlled environment. Um, but what we want to look at is making our skills appropriate in practice that we will have in competition. So when we are on the driving range, uh, what we want to do is try to mix our targets up, try to mix our clubs up a little bit, and you want it to be pretty much you know, a, a, a reflection of what's gonna happen on the golf course. So when we get on the golf course, all of a sudden, you know, we gotta get distances right, we gotta know where the wind is coming from, we gotta change our angles that we're hitting at, control trajectories, all sorts of things, you know, different lies, different slopes. So, you know, this is where then when we practice, we wanna to start to apply these principles. So we wanna understand that when we practice, we need an environment, one, which is challenging. So it's testing our skills and it's just slightly above. If you, if you give, you know, a beginner a really tough drill then, and, it's, and it's outside their skill level, then that's gonna cause frustration and really they're not gonna develop. So you wanna make sure that whatever challenge you set up in practice, whatever you're doing, you want that to be appropriate to the individual so just just on the edge of what would be okay yeah i've got to got to do a little bit better than i normally do in order to succeed at this or in order to pass this test or, or whatever it might be uh, so once again i just really want to thank uh, dr ian renshaw for his time it was a fantastic insight to uh, spend time around um, people like ian and uh, and understand their thoughts uh, in a holistic sense golf can get very caught up in Know, he swings it like this and she swings it like that so and we get very caught up in that sense now if we look at the overall picture at the end of the day all we're trying to do is you know control the ball flight you know have enough distance that we can compete try to reduce injuries while we're doing it we don't want to you know affect the body so you know if we're changing swings and those sorts of things we want to make sure we really know why we're changing it what we're changing and one how we're going to be able to use this in a competitive environment because at the end of the day that's what really matters uh, so thank you for taking the time to listen to this i hope it uh, makes you think a little bit about your practice and, and maybe make a slight adjustment if you've got any questions always feel free to drop a line